Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you how I overcame two limiting beliefs that held me back in success in my home business and how I overcame them. Now, when I started my home business back in 2010 and I would do everything that my sponsors told me to do make out a list talk to everyone on that list I did marketing but I wasn't getting the results and I was seeing people coming in uh, starting later than me and they were getting massive success they were walking on stage rank advancing making money living their dream and I was getting more and more frustrated but then I learned something in the last few months that completely turned my business around and I learned them from top earners Ray and Jessica Higdon. I had two limiting beliefs that were holding me back from success. The first was I was addicted to the outcome. So when I went and talked with people about my product or my business, I really cared whether they said yes or no. And that sent out a vibe to people that I was out to get them. And how I overcame that is I needed to develop better posture. And posture, and I love this definition of posture by Ray Higdon, where he said posture is the belief in what you have without the external approval of anyone else. So I needed to get detached from the outcome where I didn't care if they said yes or no. All I was interested in is collecting a decision to give them information and collect a decision. Now the second belief, limiting belief that held me back was as I was addicted to the speed of progress where I wanted to be at a certain pin level. I wanted to have this many people in my organization. I wanted to make an X amount of money by a certain date. And when I didn't hit that date, I got really, really discouraged. And what Ray taught me to do was I had to learn to set weekly activity goals, not results goals. Okay, a result goal would be I am going to enroll two new reps per week or I am going to enroll four new customers this week. What Ray taught me to do was get addicted to the activity that I needed to do to get those results. So the activity was prospecting and inviting more people to look at my product or opportunity. So what I learned to do was, and the inviting came down to, see if they're open and give them an out. So something, it would go something like this. Hey, I might be barking up the wrong tree, but I'm just curious. Are you open to looking at a side project that wouldn't interfere with what you're currently doing now. If you are, great. If not, no biggie. Something really, really simple. And when I started paying attention to the activity, the results followed. So I began to learn and set activity goals to, you know, reach out to more people. Okay, so instead of looking at recruiting more reps or customers, how many people am I going to reach out to this week? And then what skills am I going to work on this week to help me get those results? So I began to work on, as I was doing my prospecting, how to invite better. And when I started doing that, the results began to change. So take a look at where you are right now. Are you addicted to the outcome? And are you addicted to the speed of progress? Start doing weekly activity goals. And one thing that I'm really, I'm so grateful for is that Ray and Jessica started a private Facebook group called Rank Makers. And in that group, we have to set our activity goals on Monday. And then the following Sunday, we report those activity goals. We update our trackers. And what that does is it holds us accountable and it allows us to see how we're progressing. And when you do hit your activity goals, celebrate it, 
That's what Ray says. When we go, when we set our activity goal Monday by Friday, we have a celebration day where we actually dance. You know, he wants dance videos. And so we celebrate those successes. Even if we didn't recruit anybody, no reps, no customers, but we did the work, we celebrate it. So did you find this video helpful today? If you did, leave a comment and share. And if you want to learn more about prospecting and inviting and really developing those skills, two resources for you. The first is I recommend that you pick up a copy of Ray and Jessica's brand new book, Freakishly Effective Social Media Strategies for Network Marketers. And you can get that I, uh, by clicking on the link you see in the video description here. And in that book, Ray and Jessica break down exactly how to invite people and how to close them on social media by starting conversations. It's super, super effective, easy read, 100 pages, and it will really help you out. The second resource is I highly encourage you to become a member of Rank Makers, which is Ray and Jessica's private Facebook community that I just mentioned a few minutes ago. And they open it up uh, once a month. So what you want to do is click on the link you also see in this description and get on their list to make sure that um, when they open it, then you can get a part of that because when you're on their list, you get early bird access when they're starting to open that up again. But that those two resources will really help you out in growing your business. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.